Hi friends, uh, in this video we are going to see about the noise pollution. In earlier videos of environment and pollution, we have seen basics of environment, air pollution, water pollution and also the bits or one-liners including those topics friends. But in the noise pollution, we are going to see about the theory and some data friends. Here, if we see about uh, noise pollution, the state of discomfort and restlessness caused to humans by unwanted high intensity sound is called noise. Noise is nothing but the sound which is of unbearable level friends. Okay, This causes discomfort and restlessness in the humans. We will see what are the causes, what are the sources and what are the effects of the noise pollution on the human health. Friends. Okay. We will see the main causes of noise pollution. See friends, the main cause of noise pollution in India is the first thing is social gatherings friends. In urban areas, mostly in marriages and social parties, uh, you can hear so much of noise. They make so much of noise friends. If you see, I live in Hyderabad and uh, here for every occasion they put on the uh, they put on uh, DJs and Dawads and they go crazy here friends see there there is no control on the noise levels and during the late hours of the night they continue to play the music and they don't care about their neighbors friends here in this area there are many civil aspirants and they are preparing for the exam but the local local people who stay here they they don't understand the, these aspirants and what are they going through but they play the music till late nights and making making disturbance and whole lot of noise for these people so marriages and social parties are one such things that places of worship friends where they use loudspeakers and political gatherings friends political gatherings are the gatherings which are used for show off and uh, show their strength and uh, I don't know uh, whether it gives a good output from that meetings or not meetings during election campaigning friends and you can see lot of loudspeakers during the election campaigning friends commercial activities you know that uh, commercial activities like marketplaces malls and and all the music they play and you usually we use that don't uh, in classes like don't make noise as if you are in the fish market this is a class you these are the words used by the our teachers to make us calm down so industrial activities you all know that blasting mining machineries used in the industrial activities automobiles transport system automobiles without adequate provisions for higher quality silencers friends okay so uh, they don't use the silencers for this uh, automobiles and jet fighters like my mig aeroplanes contribute to noise pollution friends you all know that uh, automobiles without adequate provisions of high quality of silencers nowadays you know uh, riding bike without not in nowadays friends is from the ages that after the invention of the motorbike and people go crazy without the silence that they want the, that attraction the, the center of uh, attraction towards them so they remove the silencer and ride the bike especially the rx100 friends okay um, power generators use of power generators like thermal power plants and hydropower generations turbines contribute to substantial to not not only power generator friends even in the functions in the public gatherings you can see the diesel generator diesel generator cause lot of noise and you can't stand beside that and agricultural equipments like tractors harvesters and threshers friends household appliances also electric grinders mixes food blenders and, and roads and railway construction use of heavy metals and construction sites in construction sites you can see here most of the noise so if you say noise uh, there is a control over that friends there is there is a rule noise pollution rule 2000 was laid down by our 
the supreme court and here is the data friends the ambient noise levels and standards are laid down by our government friends they have categorized the areas or zones and from that zone the 100 meters or radius is covered and the noise level should be maintained under this 100 meters friends here you can see in industrial area they have given some ex exceptions that you can uh, you can hear or the limits of the sound should be between 75 to 70 dp friends 75 decibels is in the daytime that is 6 am to 10 pm from 10 pm to 6 am it should be of 70 decibels friends in commercial areas it should be from 65 db in the day and 55 decibels in the at night friends residential areas it is of 55 decibels in the day and 45 decibels in the night friend okay there are some silent zones there are some silent zones in the silent zones uh, the, during daytime it is of uh, 50 decibels and at night it is of 40 decibels friends okay you all know that uh, we can uh, human ear can uh, hear uh, sounds of from what decibels to what decibels friends you should know friends 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz friends okay that is a frequency okay the impact of noise pollution so if this decibels increases our ear will get irritated and what are the impacts impacts we will see the impacts of noise pollution on society the general impacts are in general noise adversely affects the see we don't know friends actually the noise uh, affects the speech what how it affects the speech if there is more noise we also tend to shout to our neighbors to communicate friends see we don't talk at the time but we yell at the time so yelling also have an adverse effect on our body and sleep if there is a uh, noise going around at your home you can't sleep and the concentration of individuals is heavily damaged friends heavily affected you can't concentrate on particular thing you can't uh, you can't think you can't imagine if you are working in a creative field friends if you are doing any creative work and you will be smashed friends the concentration of students while studying exams teachers for the preparation scientists for the research and development mediators and many people who 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 need some peace of mind and silence are heavily affected due to the noise pollution friends okay the psychological impact what is the psychological impact is the experts of psychology believe that the frequency of exposure to high intensity sound waves may cause behavioral changes among the animals as well as the human beings see friends it's not the levels of decibels but the frequency see frequency in the sense uh, during the part of the day if you if you have gone through a, a noise pollution going through the noise pollution when you get outside of one hour or half an hour it doesn't matter friends if it is if you repeatedly go out in the noisy areas uh, sup suppose if you go out like 10 times or 20 times and the frequency of the exposure increases if your frequency of exposure to the high intensity sound waves increases if you tend to stay in the place for more than 10 times or 20 times or uh, 10 hours or 15 hours then that has a psychological effect on your mind and body friends okay this changes your behavior this is called psychological impact this changes in, in a negative way friends how it changes and what are the effects we will see what is the physiological impact the physiologically this is physiologically friends physiological that is physical impact is the impact of noise pollution may include temporary mild and permanent damage see it can be if you if the frequency or the intensity of sound increases the that there is there will be a temporary or mild or permanent damage to the 
hearing mechanism first effect is on the ears friends you all know that ear drum will be there it will be uh, it will become less sensitive or it may be damaged friends this happens uh, for a temporary pe period of time or the mild mildly it might affect or permanently it can be affected friends and not only the you are hearing mechanism friends but also it it changes in the hormonal content of the blood friends the hormonal content of in our blood tends to change and stimulate blood pressure friends usually the people who stay in noisy levels their their uh, they will be so aggressive and they will be so they shout at you they yell at you they will not they will be restless and they will be in a bad mood really they will be so much irritated friends that you can see and mostly the rip this this uh, this thing is very new to me you can see it can affect even noise levels can affect your reproductive system and it also causes miscarriages or etc see friends how dangerous it is and we are dealing with very dangerous things in our daily life we have to admit that friends okay so this is a physical this is a physical impact and if you see the nervous system nervous system also uh, goes through certain stress levels and pressures due to these noise levels friends okay it causes pain a ringing in the ears tiredness adversely affecting the functioning of the human system see after a prolonged period of time if you uh, if you stay in if you work in factories if you want if you work uh, in a in a very clumsy areas and uh, like like if you are a traffic police kind of person then you yeah, you tend to go through this pain and ringing in the ears friends and you will be tired uh, quickly and it uh, it adversely affect the functioning of your body damage to the material not only of human body but also the buildings and this concrete structures also go through some stress and these structures may get damaged slowly it gets damaged friends okay control of noise pollution so now we have studied what are the sources of noise pollution what are the impacts on the human body as well as the buildings now we will study how to control this noise pollution according to who world health organization of all environmental problems noise is the easiest control by adopting following steps see friends there are many pollutions like air pollution water pollution and sound pollution light pollution and many uh, many pollutions out of all these this sound pollution or noise pollution is the easiest Uh, easiest phenomena which we can overcome today if there is noise if you stop the noise it's enough friends the pollution is eradicated see here here the noise noise is the easiest control by adopting following steps see all you have to do is the public awareness about the need of control of noise pollution see friends we have to educate the people we have to we have to get an awareness see i have said that Uh, there is a lot of noise pollutions in the pe- in the in the areas where civil aspirants and other aspirants are studying friends so we have to create and public awareness in those areas such that uh, they will wind up uh, their uh, dj's and music music parties within the uh, period of time friends in the late nights they would uh, reduce the mu- music or reduce the period of time they how the celebration friends by then they help the aspirants and other people uh, very much not only as not only the human beings friends dogs dogs and pet animals are heavily heavily uh, go through the stress during the time of diwali uh, by uh, by lighting the crackers they go through the trauma friends you can't even imagine oh even a uh, little children and old people go through really tough times during the diwali friends okay if you uh, fire the crackers so it always better to control the noise pollution light pollution you can control three kinds of pollutions friends you can control uh, noise pollution air pollution and also 
light pollution friends all these three pollutions can be controlled if you don't fire the crackers at the time of celebrations reduction in exposure to noise by application of engineering control techniques such as alteration and modification of design to reduce noise by construction of sound barriers or the use of sound absorbers friends so by using the engineering wherever there is a problem that the engineering solutions come into existence and uh, you can have always there is a solution for every problem friends so if you are studying you can have noise absorbers and even uh, the if you go to uh, music composing studios or music jams uh, jam rooms you can see the noise absorbers on the walls friends they 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 absorb the sound and they will not let out those sounds friends kind of uh, sound absorbers can be used in the companies and factories so that most of the sound will be absorbed within the company and it will not be spread outside reduction in exposure of to noise by making exposed personal use protective ear plugs and decreasing exposure time so uh, the people who are working in the factories or who are working in the uh, uh, traffics uh, uh, they can use the ear plugs and they can or uh, they can also reduce the exposure time friends in construction of academic institution or hospitals away from highways railways and airport friends by creating uh, vegetation buffer zones through lot scale tree plantation which absorbs noise there are some silent zones friends are around the silent zone you can you can uh, you can create a vegetation they say that if you if you let the trees to go there are some kind of trees which can absorb the noises friends if you grow a number of trees around these areas or around the factories or companies so that the sound level sound noise pollution will not get outside or cannot get in inside these areas friends so improved building design also reduce the noise pollution friends building now now there are more of research and development in the construction of the apartments or buildings such that the more light will come inside more air flow will be there more energy is saved and less noise is created friends so all these designs ergonomical designs and there are improved designs friends you can search in the internet friends okay so these are the things you can, if you follow you can immediately reduce the noise pollution friends so this is it from noise pollution you should have the awareness more than the subject you should have the awareness and you have to follow what is laid in the past list friends okay thank you for hearing uh, this noise uh, for noise pollution friends you can go through this uh, material uh, you can download the uh, notes in the uh, the link is given in the description box friends thank you we will see we will see uh, the next topic what waste management system solid liquid and gaseous and radioactive waste management in the coming classes friends till then take care bye bye thank you